He's on mute, Mr. Upler. Sorry, I haven't got my hand up actually, but I'll ask Edward a, a question anyway. I'm happy to ask him one. Hi, Edward. Hi, Emma. Um, you have had the most incredible of of years, um, both with Chelsea and your your national team, Senegal. I mean, can you just? It, it'll be hard to do in a short time, but can you just try and sum it up? Is it all like a dream for you? Can you quite believe what's happened to you? Yes, a uh, uh, lot of good things uh, happened uh, the last day and uh, the last weeks, and um, yes, obviously I'm. Um, I'm really happy and and proud uh, for from for my success in the, the national team and also in the in Chelsea. But uh, uh, I don't have time to to celebrate because uh, we have a, a lot of uh, big games uh, this this weeks and uh, the the coming weeks. So I'm just uh, focus uh, about the the next game and. I will have time to, to celebrate uh, at the end of the, the season. Okay, we'll go to John Cross. Uh, hi, hi, Edward. Uh, I just wonder whether I could ask you just about the week ahead, really. It feels like a very um, season-defining week. You've got this huge game tomorrow, cup final to come. You know, you've got major competitions. Just how can you feel the difference in the focus of the players now you're really coming to uh, the stage of the season? Where, where you can win trophies. Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> sure. It, it feels like a very big week for the team. So you've got the game tomorrow night in the Champions League, the Cup final on Sunday, you know, the FA Cup to, to come. It feels like a really defining week for the squad and the players. Can you notice the change in focus because it's such an important week? Yeah, of course, it's uh, an important week. But uh, uh, like I said, we... When you, you play for, for Chelsea, you play for this kind of uh, week uh, with the final or, or big games. So we just focus on ourselves, on what we what we do well for for this season. So we we just focus. We we don't need to to do uh, uh, something new. Just. Uh, Stay and rely on on our work and uh, our our game. Bonjour Edouard Sylvain Charlet pour France Bleu Nord à à Lille. Hi Edouard. Est-ce que ce tirage pour Chelsea est un tirage facile? Is this an easy draw for Chelsea in the Champions League? As I've already said. When it's the Champions League and this stage of the competition, there are no easy draws. Lille won their group. I think that reflects the performances they've produced in this competition against teams like Sevilla and Salzburg. They've been performing well, so it's certainly not an easy draw. Lille are a very good team. They've struggled a bit more this season in the league, but it's always difficult to be reigning champions. They've done very well in the Champions League and they will give everything to make it hard for us and to get a result. So it's up to us to be wary of that, play our best football. Sammy, please unmute yourself. Hi, Edouard. Hi. Um, the, the, the manager in, in recent weeks has, has spoken about um, player fatigue and, and, and the squad being drained because of the amount of football that, you, that, you, that you've all had to play. Uh, can I just ask you personally how you feel, how much you feel that is a factor or has been a factor in... In recent in, in recent weeks, particularly obviously as a player, and 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 moving forward, what the what the manager and what the what the what the team are doing to to lessen the impact of the number of games you, you you're having to play. Yeah, I think the the manager uh, is right about it because uh, yes, we we had uh, a lot of uh, games uh, in the, the recent weeks. And uh, we, I see, I, I wasn't uh, here, but uh, 
the the manager give uh, gave uh, some days off to to the to the players to to try to 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 breathe to to escape of the the pressure and uh, to to be a uh, uh, a little bit fresh uh, mentally and uh, I think he he, he did well and, and uh, the player did well because uh, if you look uh, the result um, of course we have uh, many injuries we have uh, like uh, the other team uh, COVID cases but uh, we we still winning we we still uh, performing and uh, of course it's difficult but uh, we it's a tough period for for the, the team who played uh, in the in the several competition so uh, we we show that we are together we we are we we stay together even if the things uh, is going tough but uh, like I said, we we still winning and uh, we we still on the many competitions. So that's at the moment uh, the the thing is right. Okay, we'll go to Adam Newson. Hi, Adu. I do. I wanted to ask about your relationship with Kepa because while you were away winning the Africa Cup of Nations, he stepped into the team and and did very well. There's a feeling now that he's uh, a genuine um, sort of competition for that number one shirt. So I just wanted to get how does it work between you two, and and were you in contact with him whilst you were away in Africa because of of his performances? My my relation with Kepa is is good since uh, uh, I came here. Uh, we we have a good uh, relationship. Uh, on and uh, outside the, the, the pitch, and um, yes, it did uh, it did really well uh, when I was in the, the FCON, but uh, uh, it didn't surprise me because I uh, I saw him every day at the at the training ground, so uh, I was super happy for for him because uh, he just he deserved it, and um, yes, the, like when you play for for Chelsea. Uh, you have a uh, competition in every position, so you have to to give you your best and you play on your highest level to to be uh, on the, the team the, the, the weekend. Go to Tom Lee. <clears throat> Hi, Edu. Hi. Um, there's been a lot of talk about whether Chelsea are more suited to cup competitions at the moment more than the league. Um, is that something that you would agree with? And can you explain why that might be? No, I'm, I'm not uh, agree with, uh, with that. I think, uh, yes, uh, like I said, we, we had uh, uh, many injuries, uh, COVID cases, and uh, sometimes, uh, like, like you know, uh, we we have played some games and uh, with maybe seven or eight COVID cases and the the other teams uh, did not play with uh, just two or three COVID cases so uh, it affects uh, our teams it affects uh, our results so it's not uh, an excuse it's just a fact and. Uh, Yes, also we had uh, many injuries, so we were we were really good uh, in the in the league and uh, in the cup. But uh, yes, that's true. In in December, uh, our result in uh, in the Premier League were not good enough, but uh, we still playing good. But uh, did not win uh, a lot of games. But uh, I think. Uh, um, after the 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 World Club, the Club World Cup, and uh, and the, the Premier League uh, game this uh, this week, uh, the 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 things are uh, going uh, better and better. Okay, we've got time for two more questions. We'll go to Raman Osman and then finish with Nazar Kinsella. 
Hi, Edu. I um, just wanted to ask, your story is such a special story, given that you nearly gave up on football and keeping, and you've come within a short period, have worn everything. What message can you say to other young goalkeepers who are struggling to get a look in at this point? Hi. So I just can say yes to, to, to keep working, to... To, to have the faith in the, uh, his work, in the, uh, his uh, belief in uh, yourself. And uh, yes, when you, when you have uh, an opportunity to, to show what you, what you, what you can do, to, to take it and to, to, to hold it and and yes, to to be better and better every day because uh, uh, yes, to to find a, a club uh, it's a it's a good start, but uh, to be better and better, uh, I think it's the the most difficult things. It's the competition. The first competition is against yourself, so you have to be better than yesterday and always want to to improve. Okay, and then final question is our concern. Hi, Edu. Um, nine years ago, you were playing for Sherborg in front of 8,800 fans. Um, I was wondering if you remember um, playing for Sherborg and uh, against N'Golo Kante as well, who was at Boulogne. Um, I wondered if you spoke to him about your memories and, and journey of coming from uh, the low levels of French football right to the top. Yes, of course, we... we... We, we spoke uh, about it uh, a lot of times, and uh, yes, that that's good. And honestly, it's uh, it's like a, a dream to to find uh, another another player in the, the same club with the, the who who played in the same division uh, as you. So we yes, we talk about it, and uh, it's. Uh, Yes, it's a beautiful thing to to find him here and uh, to to win trophy with uh, with him. Okay, thank you, everyone. We'll end.